when I was reflecting on the gospel, I had a difficult time connecting, you know, with Jesus being in the wilderness and being tempted by Satan. And it was difficult to connect with him until I realized that Jesus is human. He's God, and so we have this disconnect in a way with him because of his holiness. But then we need to remember that he was also human. And in that, then I made the connection with those human feelings. He removes himself when he, when he goes to the garden to pray, or in this instant where the Spirit drove him out into the wilderness, whether he was driven out or he, he needed to be driven out to take time away, that's where I connected with that, that need for solitude and contemplation. And it's very real that Jesus, I'm sure, struggled with his mission and what he was called to earth to do. Being human, he would have those struggles. We don't necessarily read about those struggles, but we can connect with the idea that there would be, that it would be difficult to, to face his responsibilities, to face um, his mission, what he was called to do, what he was sent to do, and his sacrifice. And so when he's tempted by the devil, tempted by evil, I think we can all connect to that feeling of of needing to do something, needing to fulfill um, an expectation or needing to, or knowing that we know the right decision to make when we are struggling with decisions that we need to make in life. And needing that time away is something that we all need when there's something important in our lives to, to be decided upon. In my own life, where I removed myself from the situation, from, from the struggle in a way, to struggle on my own. There isn't anyone that can really help with, with those decisions that you have to make for yourself. Though there is support, and though we have our friends and family to support us and to, you know, and, and those outlets where we see guidance, I think that it has to come from within. And within is, is what we seek where we seek wisdom, where we seek guidance, and we do that in prayer too. And in struggle, we always pray. <laughs> I find we always pray in times of need and struggle and, and writing and reflecting and praying and asking God for something, for wisdom, for whether I knew the answer already. I needed the confidence, I needed the strength, I needed the courage, I needed God's help to make that choice because we don't know what the future has for us. We only know right now. With all of that, we can make the right choice. And I think we often get tempted with what's easier. Bal we're trying to balance what makes sense with what feels right. And I think that we can also all be tempted by that, by choosing the easy way out or what we think is the easy way out, but it, not might, it might not be the right, the right way out. It's easier to always take the easy way. And I think that's where the, the temptation comes into play that it's it's easy to give into temptation because it's quick and it's an answer and it doesn't need any thought it just we can just follow that way or we can struggle with you know knowing that the this the decision that is there is the right one and we know that it's the right one to make but we just have to we just have to make it it's with strength and with wisdom that we we can do it and without that we can't and so we need the time. It's just interesting that Jesus needed the time. You know, when he prays, you know, before the, before the passion, before, you know, being crucified, he goes and he prays by himself and he spends time with God and he, he seeks that strength. I think that's what it is. I think we can connect with Jesus seeking that strength and needing to be at peace with something that needs to be done. I think we can all connect with needing that.